Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Is Coach Luxury? Yes, we've talked about it in the past, but more and more of my fellow colleagues on YouTube, on the Luxury YouTube, are talking about Coach. And, you know, there's a lot of conversations going on like, well, is it luxury? Is it not luxury? Or even if we don't ask ourselves, is Coach luxury for bags? Some people are simply asking themselves, is Coach worth the money? Does Coach still deliver? solid quality leather and other textiles for the price, whether it be the Coach Outlet or whether it be Coach Main. And so people are asking me in the comments all the time, Jacob, what do you think about Coach? What do you think about Coach? Do you have anything from Coach? I don't have anything from Coach. But all of these questions have prompted me to go out, out, and a boot into one of those little stores, you know, those little, little corners within a bigger department store, you know, check out the coach. So before we get into the nitty gritty, darling, and all the details about what we think about coach, subscribe to my channel, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, super decob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week, so come join the live chats and the fun high chats. And I'm doing this video because really coach seems to be a very intense topic at the moment. Thumb up the video. Let me cue in the photo that I took of me doing some investigative reporting and research. Yours truly, and yes, for all of you who always see me sitting like here like a Muppet, always like half cut off. Yes, I do have legs and feet. <laughs> I do walk, believe it or not. And uh, so here I am, a little mirrorlet at the coach thing. And so here's a couple of bags. And I thought, oh, funny, a little, little tiny deco next to, you know, Max. Okay, so anyway, I um, posted this photo to my Instagram account. So go follow me there for all these like fun questions and conversations. It's almost like a forum, really, because like we keep exchanging information about a lot of different things. So anyway, I posted this to my Instagram and my Instagram is Super Jacob Backup, all spelled together. Why the backup? Because Instagram deleted my main account years ago. And I'm just not one of those people who... I don't care. I just started a new account, you know, whatever. Just let it be. Instagram is dumb anyway. So, but so everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. So anyway, Super Deco Backup all spelled together. I post this photo and I asked my lovely viewers or followers or whoever reads my, my posts. I This is the caption that uh, I posted here. I said, Many people talking about how Coach is currently top bag game. So Super D went to investigate. I went to check the quality, shapes, and prices. What do we think? Is Coach luxury or not? Is it the best bag game for our buck at the moment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll go, we'll go. And boy, oh boy, was I surprised. This was a test that I made. I posted this on my Instagram because I thought to myself, let me see if my people want to know. Or is it, you know, because you, usually when you make a post on Instagram and you ask a question, when you get like two replies, you know, nobody cares about that topic. And I thought I was going to maybe get, I kid you not, I thought maybe 20 people, tops, tops, 20 comments about Coach. Because I thought the people that follow me, maybe they don't care about Coach because I don't own any Coach bags. And I thought, well, if I post, this is the first Coach post I ever made on my Instagram account. So I thought... This might flop, but doesn't matter. Even, even if it flops, it's a good indicator, to like a barometer to see, is there interest in this brand at the moment or not? Boy, oh boy, was I surprised because within just a couple of hours, we, all, we almost reached 300 likes and 73 comments, which I have a tiny Instagram account, by the way. You know, I, I'm not one of those influencers that's going to, you know, do the posy mosey and Ferrari cars and, you know, stuff, really, no. Instagram is supposed to be fun. 73 people commented. So this is the photo, and that's my caption. And now we're going to go through the comments. This is where it gets really interesting. And I think a lot of these comments came in also because 
coach at the moment has that ratio between price and quality that seems to be very attractive to a lot of people. On top of that, apparently coach is delivering not just with a tabby bag. A lot of people are talking about the tabby. Here's a tabby right over there, a little teeny tiny one. Uh, but uh, there, a lot of people are really happy with the current denim, like kind of limited edition seasonal collection, loving the denim. So a lot of people are really into the quality versus ratio price. Some people are not because some people say Coach is giving always uh, outlet vibes and always on sale and a brand that is always on sale kind of feels like it's not really luxury. But I'm thinking, is luxury necessarily a high price tag? Or is luxury just about a feel and a dream? Let's see what you guys had to say underneath this post. I was shook in just a couple of hours. 73 comments. So let's get through some of them. And these are all your lovely comments. So thank you guys so much for following me on my Insta and also on YouTube and for commenting. So, um, so Zara Justina, who's also a wonderful lady, also a YouTuber herself. Go check out her channel, but also... A great supporter and friend to the fashion bunker. She said, <laughs> yes, investigative reporting, LOL. Love it, the coach. Micro and mini bags lately. Plus the reasonable price, here you go, has returned some of the joy of shopping new handbags for me. I found this comment. Ah, there's Zara in the chats. I found this comment by Zara really, really fascinating and really on point because she literally very clearly de defines the price is working, the quality, the ratio is working, and the most important factor for me in this comment was the joy of shopping, new handbags, because we're not having we're not going through those heart palpitations, you know, like with certain brands where buying a new bag. $10,000 and you're like, oh boy, before I drop 10K for a new bag, it's not just, it, it, and I get it. I get it, Zara. I get what you're saying because for me, it's the same. I'm like thinking, okay, so if I want to buy a new, you know, luxury, luxury, luxury bag, you know, waiting on that Birkin, okay, fine. And then you got to drop 12K. Is that like, yeah, I want the Birkin, but it does leave a sour taste in my mouth a little bit. Because you know what I mean? It's like, it's, you're not happy. You're worried. It, it's a purchase that makes me worry. It's not a purchase that makes me exit the store lighthearted. No. The Birkin is a purchase that makes me e exit the store in, in panic mode. It, it's the purchase that makes me tell uh, the staff at Hermes, please put the Birkin box in a white bag. I don't want anybody to see me exit the store with a huge orange bag. I don't want to get mugged on my way to my <coughs> to the car. <coughs> Pardon me, I need to drink some water. You know what I mean? When the bags start costing so much, yeah, a lot of the fun is gone. And I love that Zara said, reasonable price plus cute designs returned some of the joy of shopping for these bags. And when I say joy for shopping for these bags, you know, a lot of people, I've noticed this, I get comments on my channel, uh, people talk about overconsumption or people talk about, you know, you're just buying luxury because you want to show off a logo. It, it, just to be very clear, you guys, a lot of us fashion lovers, also luxury lovers, but also brand lovers, a lot of us are not buying the brands that we love to show off to you that we can afford them. A lot of us really, really enjoy the history of these brands. We really enjoy the shapes, the smell of the leather, the tactile experience of touching certain materials. A lot of us really have a fabulous time collecting these pieces and enjoying them for the reasons that are completely far away from what you might think are the reasons. And a lot of you think the reasons are, well, just to show off that, that you got something from a, with the logo on it. Not all of us buy stuff to show you that we got a logo on it. A lot of us love the heritage, love the tactile experience, love the smell. Seriously. So when we, some of us authentic bag lovers and fashion lovers, you know, or perfume lovers, we really buy stuff for that. 
for ourselves, not for others. So bear that in mind, okay? When we keep analyzing here. Um, now, here you go. Teresa McGuire co commented and says, the Coach Rogue bag I bought a week ago is beautifully made. It's a color block combination of green leather and golden brown suede accents. I got the largest size. It was $1,200 with tax. The quality is top notch. Now, that same type of bag, if it were Chanel, it would be probably $8,000. Instead, Terry got it for $1,200. Winnie BLV, how's it going, sweetie? Another wonderful colleague from YouTube. Go check out Winnie BLV's channel. Coach is doing stuff with denim, Winnie commented. Coach is doing stuff with denim right now at a price you can afford. So for that reason, they are killing the game. Roberto Duza says, check out the vintage ones, my lovely. I have many and the quality is so good. Before they started with fabric lining and obnoxious logos, the new generation of Coach seems going towards the same direction. So I'm curious to know your intake. Well, here we can see all, almost every bag has a very visible logo here, right? But it's not as obnoxious as it could be. I mean, when it starts getting bigger, like here, I start having an issue. Little teeny tiny C, single C with a turn lock going through it. We'll go, we'll go. A little bit big here, okay, for the tabby. But uh, tiny on the heart. They could, They. I would prefer them to kind of, at least make a couple bags that have no logo, you know, just if you want to. Like this one, for example, I touched this series here. The ones that were in leather, the leather felt really good. Now, a lot of them are made in China. And that's some, I, I, that's, and listen, nothing against China, you know what I mean? But I would like a little bit, let's rein it back in. Let's make some, you know, in Europe or in Canada or in America, you know what I mean? Moving on, Feather Brain Dead says, uh, a brained, brain dead, brained, Feather Brained, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I haven't been to Coach in ages. I do have 80s Coach vintage, and the leather is like butter. Interesting. Barbie Paints commented, Hola, Jacob. I have two coach pillow tabbies in blue, green ombre and pastel ombre, the Basquiat handle bag and a shoulder bag. I also have five vintage coach bags, two of which were made in the USA. I absolutely love my bags. Love them. I hope you find one you like. Besos, Catalina. Chrissy says, I'm not a fan of coach. Definitely not luxury for me. I put them into the Michael Kors category. Do you guys agree? Is coach Michael Kors category? Because I kind of have a feeling from what I experienced, and this was not an outlet, just FYI. I went to an actual coach corner shop, not outlet. Um, it didn't feel like most of those Michael Kors bags that are literally plastic and you can also see a ton of them at tj maxx mm, it it for me uh, correct me if i'm wrong you guys it felt more substantial like the coach bags that are here they felt more substantial to me like than michael kors but let's hear what chrissy has to say so i put them into the michael kors category for people that want to have a logo additionally i feel like they are they are outlet only products even here in Germany, every outlet has a coach store. I'm not sure anyone has ever paid full price for any of their products. Now, this is an interesting point. Have you guys ever paid full price for coach bags or are we all waiting for the sale on every bag? Like, are we only buying them on sale or is anybody ever buying full price current coach? I'm not talking vintage. BB says, nope. Ellie says, I did. Katana says, yes. Heaven says, I had a large forest green suede. Okay, always wait for sale. Okay, Heaven says, I always wait for sale. Guilty. Carla says, Coach ruins its efforts to become luxury when they send boutique items to the outlets heavy discounted. Miss Jelly says, yes. Patricia says, no. Apple Blonde says, I have. Timocracy says, I have bought full price. Zara Justina says, I just paid full price for the denim tabby. 
Interesting. Interesting. So most people say yes, bought at full price. Kev says I would never purchase coach full price. Uh huh. Well, so Chrissy goes on and says, additionally, I feel like they are outlet. Okay. Outlet only similar to, uh, I'm not sure anyone has ever paid full price for any of their products. Similar to my protein. There are always discount codes. <laughs> so the actual price of the product is not the one on the bag on the tag but what it usually goes for. Putting everything on sale all the time ruins a brand, in my opinion. Now, I do agree on this last point um, because it, this does, you know, every because we kind of have be, begun to associate coach with um, sale. There's always some reduction available. They have the outlets part of their website as well and it's kind of like oh okay well coach bag i in my head i always go towards well why don't i see a crossed over price with another price next to it so maybe they are doing a little bit of this to themselves riles closet says i'm loving coach at the moment for me it means getting a beautiful bag at a more affordable price it's a luxury any bag it's a luxury any bag really is in my opinion that is kind of beautiful to say like Open, you know, any bag can be luxury if it's luxury to you. But interesting, we have another point here. Somebody else commenting saying the price is really good. And this is interesting to note because most of the bags that have become very popular, also thanks to social media, they're very expensive, very expensive. So it's kind of good to, to find um, a brand that is playing in that price range that fits the times we live in. It seems like Coach, at least price-wise, is more price ratio quality is more in tune with the times than other brands, than luxury brands. Now, would I put Coach into that luxury level? Maybe not, personally, but open to see it develop. You know, where I'm really curious to see where it's heading. That for sure. That for sure. I mean, it piqued my interest. Misisi says, I have coach bags that are more than 10 years now old and still looking good to this date. They've been used a lot. Um, I don't have negative comment to say about coach. GCJY says, hello, I own one vintage coach and to me it's been so durable despite their tanning process. Angie Massimo says, all of my coach stuff has held up really well. S Bikini says, love Coach. Jen Haro says, I've always loved Coach as an everyday bag and their designs are timeless for the most part. Quality of their leather for the price is great in my opinion. Mary Christina says, best. Yanti says, love the denim quilted tabby. A lot of people are loving the current denim pieces. We don't see them here though. I have always loved Coach. They can do no wrong in my book, says Fluffy Tree. Portia says, bello. <laughs> Um, Kristen says, I bought off Poshmark a lime green speedy 30 size style for 45 bucks. Been using all week, gotten many compliments and feel a little safer in the town I work in now and do my odds in nails and grocery stores. It's not my Louis Vuitton bags, but fun color for spring. I think that is a, a coach version. I think there was a typo there. Coach, my first uh, quality bag says T Bills. Still have every one of them about 10. They are so well made and I carry them in rotation with all the Louis Vuitton Chanel. To me, they are luxury and they are true classics. Mary Stephen Mitchell says, I would say not a luxury brand, but definitely wonderful quality and design and better than Dooney. I have several of their smaller bags and wristlets and I love them. So, and it just keeps going on and on and on with all the comments. Um, love the denim quilted tabby. Love a cute investigative journalist moment. The leather and hardware choice in the industry is better than other brands. Regardless, the resale market and brand value coach is a good choice, says Ren Lai. And Diana Husky sa Haskell says, I'm in love with the new rogue top handle uh, denim and the Soho bag in the repurposed denim. Nelsito Mar says, I love coach. So, Asali 
Engstad. <laughs> to me, it's a decent brand with reasonable pricing and quality. Would buy Coach over Chanel anytime. Dr. Gold, Goldie MD says, I heard their denim is fire. Oat Pink Ray says, Hi, Deco. I love the collaborations. Recently, they had a Chinese New Year theme. Love it. One of my favorite bags that I own is a large cosmetic bag collab with a Basquiat foundation. Alexis Cetina says, not a fan of Coach, unless it's something off of their reserve section from their online outlet. I can't see myself paying full price for Coach personally. T. Bill says, Coach, my first quality bag, still have every one of them, about 10. They are so well made and I carry them in rotation with all the Louis Vuitton Chanel. They are luxury, they're true classics. Uh, Denise uh, Rolbietsky says, I stopped buying Coach years ago when for three to five hundred dollars, a lot of money then, I saw tags in them made in China. I liked their leather goods back in the day, but not anymore. Uh, the Annie Coco says, I bought a pair of their dad sandals last week. I wanted Chanel, but they never fit me right, and Coach instead fit. So, Robbie Lemmy Lem Yao says, Coach bags I love, Quilted Tabby, Morgan, Hero, Rogue. Though not in the price range of the European luxury market, I think Coach and Dooney are very underrated by Euro bag snobs. Plus, you can buy one in the boutique without buying 100 plates and click bracelets first. The shade to Hermes customers. And it keeps going on and on and on, you guys. Like, there's so many wonderful comments so this is uh, so go check out the rest of the comments uh, under that post on Super Jacob Backup, my Instagram account. You're gonna be surprised. Um, I was shocked. So it seems like Coach really hit a nerve of the times. Currently, it seems like this is the brand where maybe the designs are not the best designs in the world, you know, and maybe having that tag made in China in the bag is not really appetizing when, you know, when you think, oh, maybe it would be nice if the bag was made in America or in Europe. But the fact that so many people are viscerally reacting to, to, to this post shows me that there's something happening with Coach. We have to keep our eyes open. You know, Brenda Romero says, even here in the chats, in the live chats, we are talking a lot. There's something about coach, right? Yeah, it's it's insane. I'd rather cry being snubbed by our mess than take a tissue from a coach essay to wipe my tears. <laughs> really, OCD? Boy, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> um, Kev says, well, it certainly speaks to the mass market. Yeah, but then it's different now. And I think coach now is cleverly using... The opportunity where most of the luxury brands are way outpricing themselves and Coach is doing something clever. They found that niche and they're kind of tapping into all of those customers that are no longer purchasing, you know, a lot of those other brands that they used to purchase like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Chanel. And now they're like, well, where do I go to buy? And Coach is like, Come to us. And now the conversation is igniting around coach. Very, very interesting. And they're tapping into all of those clients that are that have left, you know, these other brands. In fact, I just went to Chanel the other day. Empty. The boutique is empty. Dior, empty. Hermes, empty. <laughs> interesting. Coach, okay. It's also kind of empty. If you look at it, there's no person here <laughs> except for me. But truth be told, I was there like close close to closing time. So maybe that also had to do with it. Um, so anyway, JJW says, to me, coach fashion shows are beautiful. Heaven says, just got two knit dresses from Lauren Ye. Okay, well, it's typical now, which wasn't the case after uh, the poppy era subsided. So go for them. I think the fact that coach is an American brand and not European, like the other luxury brands, plays in a role in the debate as well. Krabi Buzaki, that's a really, really good point. Definitely plays a role in the debate. But, you know, maybe coach should then play even more with the American heritage and create more an Americana vibe going on for them. Uh, tap more into their own past and heritage, which they do, but even more. 
distance yourself then more from the European market. Create something that will become more desirable to your clients uh, that um, is not giving me the feeling that you're trying to run after European designs. Create your own, you know? Make Europe come after you instead. Little free tip from me to you, coach. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below because this is a topic that really seems to be very, very hot at the moment. I'm super curious to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I read all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumb up this video and subscribe. Until next time, never give up on love. Bye.